Cooking for one with Katie. Me. Don't be I wish to have someone to do a wishbone with. Hi everybody, welcome. Matt's our guest cook today. What are we going to make? You haven't even told me. It's a pasta dish made with uh, marsala cream sauce. I have two breasts here. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. And they're mighty firm. Plump, I like that. All right, so I've sliced one of your breasts perfectly down the middle. Nice. The lengthwise, you sliced them lengthwise. And I ended up at the uh, steak liquor store to buy the um, Marsala wine because I went to the two different grocery stores and they didn't have any. We're, we're living on the edge. But I'm sure it's not Katie's first experience drinking it. Yeah, it was my first time at the liquor store. Felt out of place. Right. <laughs> the rage put it on the tab. I'm gonna slice the mushroom that thick. See that? Right now he's got the olive oil in the pan. Oh, see if they would like to smell this. Take a whiff. While I'm chopping, Matt is grilling the chicken. There we go. That is skill, people. Again, do not try that at home. And then we're actually not going to. Let the garlic stay in the recipe. Just gonna give a little smash and then put that in there and keep track of it. Got about a quarter of a red onion here. Mmm. Uh oh. Just cut myself. Uh oh. It's kind of awkward. Me sitting here alone talking to the camera. Katie's treating her cut finger. Okay. And then switch. Out the chicken with the onions. I have a band-aid now for my <laughs> for my middle finger here. Wonderful. When you when you cook meat, you want to keep the fat on it while you're cooking it. So it keeps the juices in. If you strip it of all the fat first and then cook it, it, it tends to be drier and firmer. And Can I already do that? It's, it's actually easier to cut off when it's cooked too. So I always take it off first. So he's got the onions going in the olive oil. Yeah, we're going to caramelize these, so cook them until they're brown, and the natural sugars in the onions will caramelize, give it a, a brown color and a nice flavor. It's a, almost every single piece here is, is cooked perfectly. Still juicy, just barely, but there's a couple slightly pink ones, but that's okay because we're going to throw this into a, a cooking sauce in a moment. We want a much broader. We use the basil for a couple reasons. We'll shred some basil by hand, put it into the sauce while the sauce is cooking, and then you can always use any green for garnish. Chop some basil up finely and then just sprinkle on top for color. It makes it look really nice. He really knows what he's doing. All right, we're just waiting on the pasta and the onions to caramelize. Until then, everything else is set to go. If the onions stick at all at the bottom, you can just put a little water on, or even some of that wine, actually, and use that to it's called deglazing the, the pan. Okay, I'm going to deglaze this with a little bit of this masala wine. You always want to salt your water when making pasta, otherwise it tastes so bland. So we got the chicken all ready to go, the mushrooms, the Parmesan cheese, the basil, whipped cream, olive oil, and the marsala wine. And Matt stopped by Neater's and got some bread. What's yeah. this kind of bread again? This is called paisano bread. Um, it's, a, it's almost like a light sourdough. A little more olive oil in, and then the mushrooms. And you, you don't ever want to cook mushrooms too long. You don't want them mushy. We really just want them barely cooked before we add the rest of the stuff. And we'll add the uh, marsala wine. Cook that a little bit and add the cream, salt, pepper, the garlic, the um, basil, and then at the very last minute we'll add the chicken. Alright, now we're going to add the masala wine. Garlic in it, somewhere where you can locate it and pull it out. We're going to just shred the basil by hand and just throw it in there. Alright, then salt and pepper. 
cream. We don't need all this cream, just, just enough to give it a creamy texture. It's still a tiny bit of a ring, but it's almost gone, so this is almost done. Let that stir just for about another 30 seconds, then we'll take it off the heat. A few chunks of it. Now we put this back in. Mix it with the pasta. Fresh chopped basil. You rub some garlic on it when it's out. Sprinkle a little bit of olive oil and some salt. And then we're good to go. Bon appetit. All right.